This question is an easy GRE quantitative reasoning practice question. This GRE sample question is a quantitative comparison question and it's from the topic algebra. Let's quickly run through the question and compare these two quantities. It says x and y are not equal to 0 and x is greater than y. So can x and y be positive? Yes. Can x and y be both negative? Yes. Can one be positive, one be negative? Yes. All of these possibilities exist. It's just that neither x nor y is 0. We're going to evaluate these two quantities. I'm going to start with simplifying these two quantities. Start with quantity A. X and Y are the denominators here. So XY is going to be the common denominator. So left hand side is going to get in the numerator and X square. The right hand side numerator will become Y square. So we have 1 divided by X square plus Y square upon XY is how this term actually gets simplified as. You can simplify it one more step. It can be rewritten. 1 upon this entire quantity becomes the reciprocal of what is written here. This is going to be XY divided by X square plus Y square. Let's repeat the exercise for quantity b. The denominator is still going to be the same x into y. So left hand side numerator is x square, right hand side numerator is y square. So 1 upon x square minus y square divided by xy. So 1 by this term, the reciprocal of this is going to be the value which is xy divided by x square minus y square. So these are the two given quantities to us. We have essentially rewritten them to be this way. So quantity a for us is xy upon x square plus y square. Quantity B is xy upon x square minus y square. Before we actually set about comparing them, the process of comparison, we'll see how to go about it. Let's consolidate up till this point in a printed form. Left hand side term essentially boils down to this because xy is a common denominator. Right hand side term essentially becomes this. Now let's actually compare these two. The process of comparison, the approach for comparison for us is a counter example. Counter example is one where we'll pick such values of x and y which will satisfy the given question stem values. It says neither x nor y should be 0 and it says x should be greater than y. We'll try and find out an example which will say that quantity A is greater than quantity B and we'll find a counter example which says quantity A is lesser than quantity B or the other way around. We'll prove one with one example. We'll see if we can establish the second one and the second example. Then we'll say if this information is known, these two expressions sometimes will work one way and some other time the other way which means we can't compare. So every time we set about trying to do a counter example, our objective is to lean towards answer option D. Let's see if that is possible. If you are not able to find one such value, then we'll use algebraic manipulation to figure out why one quantity is necessarily greater than the other or one quantity is equal to the other. In this case, it's evident that they are not going to be equal, which essentially boils down to the fact that C can be eliminated. It's either A or B or D. I'm going to look to see if it can be D. Otherwise, let's delve deeper. Example, I'm going to go with X is equal to a 4, Y is equal to a 2. Satisfies the condition that neither X nor Y is 0. X is greater than Y. So all these conditions hold good. Let's evaluate quantity A. Quantity A is X times Y, which is 4 times 2, divided by X square plus Y square, which is 4 square plus 2 square. So let's essentially boil down to 8 divided by 16 plus 4, which is equal to 20. Let's evaluate quantity B. Quantity B practically is the same, except the denominator is going to be a little different. Quantity B is again x into y, which is 4 times 2, divided by x square, which is 4 square, minus y square, which is a 2 square. This is 4 into 2, which is an 8, divided by 16 minus 4, which is equal to 12. We need to compare these two. Numerator is the same for both quantity A and quantity B. The denominator of quantity B is a smaller value. The numerator is same. The lower the denominator, greater the value. So for these two numbers, x equals 4, y equals 2, the answer that I am getting is quantity B is greater than quantity A. So now I need to look for another set which will satisfy these values where quantity A is greater than quantity B. If I am able to find one such thing, if the counter example exists, then we will say that the answer option is D. Let's see if that is possible. I'm going to go with x is equal to 4, y is equal to minus 2. x and y are not 0, x is greater than y. Let's evaluate quantity A. Quantity A is x times y, which is 4 times minus 2, divided by x square plus y square, 4 square plus a minus 2 square. 4 into minus 2 is a minus 8, divided by 4 square is a 16, plus minus 2 square is a plus 4, 16 plus 4 is a 20. Let's evaluate quantity B. Quantity B practically is the same except that the denominator is going to be different. So numerator is 4 times minus 2 divided by 4 square 
minus minus 2 square. 4 times minus 2 is a minus 8 divided by 4 square minus minus 2 square is a plus 4. 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. We need to compare these two quantities. Both these numbers to start with are negative numbers. In negative numbers, look at it. Let's look at the number line. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. The values increase as we move towards the right of the number line. Lesser the magnitude, larger the value. A lower magnitude negative number will have a larger value. 8 upon 20 and 8 upon 12. 8 upon 20, magnitude is lesser. Modulus of minus 8 upon 20 is less than modulus of minus 8 upon 12. Here the numerator is lesser. Lower magnitude negative number is a larger number, which means that quantity A is actually larger in this case than quantity B. If we went with example, we got quantity B to be greater than quantity A. When we took this counter example, we're getting quantity A is greater than quantity B. So if this information is true and we're evaluating these two expressions, sometimes quantity B is greater than quantity A and at other times quantity A is greater than quantity B, which means we do not have a conclusive answer. We are not able to compare these two quantities. Choice D is the answer. Quickly run through it. Going with 4 and 2, we get values as 8 upon 20 and 8 upon 12. Numerator is the same. Just look at the denominator. Lower denominator has a greater value. Quantity B is greater than quantity A. Going with 4 and minus 2, minus 8 upon 20, minus 8 upon 12. We know the magnitude 8 upon 20 is lesser than the magnitude 8 upon 12 because the denominator here is a larger value. So lower magnitude negative number is going to be the larger number. In this case, quantity A is greater than quantity B. Getting both possibilities, which means we are not able to compare these two quantities. Choice D is the answer to this question. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user at wzko.in slash quant. The URL is there on the screen. This is a GRE online quant course, the most comprehensive course you will get. You can sign up either on the web using Google Chrome browser or you can download our Android or iOS app and get started. It takes all of five minutes and three steps to get started. Start with the free topics, start with statistics, averages, and a few lessons in data interpretation. Build momentum into your GRE quant preparation. Once you've got the momentum and you find that this teaching methodology helps you prepare for the GRE, you can pay and access the remaining topics behind the paywall. Second thing I want you to do is subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash GRE and turn on notifications. If you have friends or classmates preparing for the GRE, let them know about this channel and this online course. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe and stay motivated.